Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode in Bloxwoods. Today I am going to get Shark Race V3. Uh, and as you guys can see by the fin on my back, I already have the race on. And I also have something else, a little bit of uh, Halo Sight. Yeah, I actually managed to get this sight, uh, which is really cool. Just look at how left the left, I mean, how fast the left clicks are. They are so fast. All right, but now we, we have to concentrate on uh, on the race we are on. And in the last uh, two race videos that I did, uh, I didn't tell you guys how you can change your race. Well, you have to come over here to this guy in uh, Tort and talk to him. And you also need 3,000 fragments. Otherwise, he won't uh, talk to you. And uh, once you have 3,000 fragments, he'll randomly change your race to another one. And that's uh, all for uh, how to get, uh, I mean, how to change races. But now let's get to the green zone. And before I start working on the V2 of Shark, let me guys show you something really cool. If I go into water, see how uh, slow my your health goes down? Yeah, the shark race is the best defensive uh, uh, race in the game. It's so cool, but once you get V2, it uh, really gets uh, awesome. All right, we've uh, arrived at the alchemist. Let's talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yep, on it. Let's search for the flowers. Ah, I found a red flower. Red flower achieved. Oh, third flower achieved. More exactly, the yellow flower. Oh wait, I'm in the Buddha form. Let me turn back. And yep, that's the yellow flower. Oh, I found the blue flower. Okay. All right, we've got all the flowers we've got. The red, the yellow, and the blue. Now we gotta go back to the alchemist. All right, Mr. Alchemist. Let's see what I get for my first uh, uh, upgrade. I've enhanced your ability to swim. You can't take damage from water anymore. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, now that uh, I am V2, uh, I'm going to show you guys what that means. See? I'm in water, and now my health is not going down, even though I have a fruit on. Seriously, this is so cool. This is why Buddha is one of the best fruits when you hunt sea beasts or sea events, because uh, you can have unawakened Buddha with Shark V2, and you can uh, uh, just stay in the water as long as you want. This is so cool, but uh, I want V3. So I get uh, the ability uh, water body, so I have even more defense. And for that, we have to talk to Arrow. Yeah, yeah just uh, let me know. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, talk, me, talk to me one, talk, talk to me again once you defeat a sea beast. Man, why couldn't I read that? But yeah, that's exactly what we have to do right now. We have to go uh, on in the sea and kill a sea beast. Which in the second C is not that hard, it's just uh, kind of annoying when uh, you don't get it. Because before you get the Sea Beast, you might get uh, the Ghost Ships, which just uh, might be only two small ships, or uh, a big one with two small ones, and it's really annoying. So let's go into the sea and let's wait for uh, a Sea Beast. Oh, finally, I got the sea beast. Okay, let's transform, put our hockey on, and now let's do this. Why can't I hit it with my left click? Maybe it's because uh, I'm just uh, unawakened Buddha and I uh, don't have uh, the bigger uh, form, uh, the bigger Buddha. Okay, uh, it's uh, still okay. I can still uh, get rid of this uh, sea beast with my regular attacks. Oh yeah, we killed it. All right, now we can go back to the 
to Arrow. Let's go. All right, Mr. Arrow. Please let me awaken right now. Yes, I got Sea Monster and Warrior of the Sea. Yes, and I've got uh, oh, two more fins on my arms, which are uh, levitating. I think this is more like uh, well, more likely for the more blocky avatar of the game uh, because I'm pretty sure the fins on your uh, arms should should actually be on your arms, not hovering over them. But hey, that's it. But uh, that's not the most uh, important thing right now because uh, I want to test just how good is uh, the water body right now. All right, let's see how much damage we get without the water body. Okay, pretty much 500 from this guy. Okay, but now let's wait a little bit. Now let's use water body. Oh, I only get 137 damage from this guy now. So that's how powerful this uh, water body ability is. Really cool. All right. This uh, uh, speech, I mean, race is really cool. I mean, seriously, you can uh, swim with your devil fruit now. You have an ability that decreases damage really ma by a lot. And you really look cool with these fins if, uh, you know, you have, like, the blocky arms. Because the fin on your back fits perfectly. But that's really cool. Which is uh, kind of rare for such a, a race to be this cool. Because uh, the previous ones, I wasn't quite as uh, amazed by them. But now let's uh, go and try our luck with the uh, Tagacha. Alright, Zeolus, please give me something. And I get... Up. Okay. Okay, I get the uh, Talite Fruit. It, not bad, not bad. I was hoping for a Legendary or a Mythical, but hey, Light is really cool. So I'm just going to let this little guy here, maybe someone will pick it up, up like this guy. Okay, but uh, that's kind of all for today. Uh, yeah, I really like the race, uh, and I'm not going to concentrate on uh, leveling up the Water Kung Fu, uh, because I already have it uh, maxed, which is really cool. And... Uh, it's going to take me a while, uh, I mean, to get the fully awakened Buddha, but I think I'm only going to focus for uh, Transform, uh, to awaken the first move of Buddha for now. So I'm going to do that off camera just so I can uh, try it out. But yeah, that's kind of all uh, for today's video. Let me guys know what you guys think about the shark race, the water kung fu fighting style, and the ability water body. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what I uh, ask you guys. And don't forget to turn on the notification bells. And I'm Super Wolf X, and I'll see you guys in the next one.